Happy October to you, or it, I don't, it might actually be November <laughs> by the time you see this, but we got the October orange color for this one in the background. Uh, and I was wondering what that was about. So I looked right at it. Happy Gosh. Halloween if I get around to getting this out in that amount of time. Happy late October slash Halloween. Happy late October. I don't know, that's safe. <laughs> it sounds like a movie from the early 2000s, late October. Like starring, a horror film. Starring um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Like late October. <laughs> <laughs> isn't like isn't there a movie called like October Sky or something? I don't know. Is that the one where Jake Gyllenhaal's a rocket scientist? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I vaguely remember this. Um, anyways, today we have like a crazy boot bonanza haul to show you because it was like probably one of the best days at the bins we've ever had. Just like for boots, yeah, they just had oh like a crazy amount of good boots, and then we have a bag of stuff here too. Yeah, this was a really good bins haul. This might might be our best bins trip so far. Yeah, maybe as far as like perceived value of everything here. <laughs> so I already went through and I cleaned all these boots and made them all spazzy. Spazzy? Spa spazzy? Snazzy is the word I was looking for. <laughs> They're spazzy boots. <laughs> spazzy. Oh. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll just get started and show you what we found. We also got Smokey here today. Yeah. <laughs> he's not happy about it. Yep, he's just, he's just licking himself. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started with boot number one. So we found, well, Ryan found both of these fry boots and they are most of the boots that we got in this haul are tall, which is awesome. That adds value. Yeah. So these are great. And I've got to tell you something. I personally don't have a great time selling fry boots. I had one sale that was like $200 and that's wonderful. I had to wait for like six months, but hmm. that was great. Everything else that I've listed from fry, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't do super well for me. Hmm. It might do well for you. Um, what I've heard from a lot of people is that they generally sell for 60. Um, but lately I've been seeing on resale markets that it's, I'm just seeing a lot of like really low sales or things sitting and I experience them sitting, which is weird because I love fry. It's really high quality. So my plan for these actually is to send them to thread up mm -hmm. <laughs> because they should give me about a $70 payout each like for each pair of boots. And I'm really excited about that. We sold a pair of boots to ThreadUp um, that was Fry and it was this length and everything and it was about a $70 payout. So I'm happy about that. That's like passive. And we're gonna try this time around. Um, lately I've been doing the gift card, like balancing where you send it in, you get a gift card right up front. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, they're currently in a freeze with how, like you can't order any new labels to send to them. And so we're gonna be doing a video about other options with consigning and more information about ThreadUp too. But um, I've got one label left over that is just straight up consignment. So what I think I might do is just like gather things, send them and pay for expedited processing, which is $16. So I might just try to get that going and wait till things sell and get the cash payout and do a video on that, like when everything finally sells. Mm -hmm. So that's my plan for these boots, the fry boots. And uh, yeah, we got some other stuff that's similar. Yes. So. Ooh, you know what I want right now? I need some tea. I'll be right back. I could do some tea too. Let's do a tea break. Tea break. Okay. Got my workout for the morning. No. Oh, I love this chai, this chai tea. Chai tea. I'm drinking spiced dragon chai tea from Stash, which Ryan actually did a commercial for. Yeah. <gasps> Fun fact. You'll never be my dad. I'm sorry. He's a spicy kid. And it's in my good morning sunshine mug even though it's not the morning. <laughs> well, it still is. <laughs> and I'm drinking a spot of Earl Grey. <laughs> I just want to take a minute to appreciate this mug with Edgar Allan Poe on it. I'm just a Poe boy. <laughs> Everybody loves me. All right, time for boot number two. 
These are these really crazy looking like World War II, World War I looking <laughs> crazy boots that are actually Steve Madden. <laughs> yeah, check these out. They're so crazy. Yeah, but they're pretty neat. I like that leather, orange leather thing. Yeah, they're intentionally distressed. They're mm -hmm. in like pretty good condition. I have only sold one pair of Steve Madden and it sold pretty quickly, uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> so I want to try it out with these boots because they're just so interesting. So my thought is that I might be getting 30, 35. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. We usually don't pick up Steve Madden. Yeah, I like, usually don't. Every once in a blue moon, we'll find something interesting like this where we'll take a risk on it, especially because it was at the bins. So it's a risk we're willing to take. <laughs> oh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Another pair of boots. Here, you can talk about those. Okay, these are, what are they? They're Dublin boots. And I picked these up, they were really high quality and I'm like, I want to look this up, it's probably a thing. And it is. I've got to say that when I got home, the comps looked a little different than when I looked at the bins. They're kind of all over the place. Like I saw sold for like 30, but also one that was like $100, but best offer accepted. So I'm shooting for probably around 50 for these. And I'm just going to see so they're like how it goes. <laughs> horse riding boots, Dublin. I was like, are they made in Ireland? But they're actually made in China. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe it's an Irish company, I don't know, but yeah. I also saw a listing that said like river boots. Oh yeah. Which, yeah. There's the logo. These are leather. Yeah. But that do you think they could be river boots? That wouldn't work very well in the, in the river. If, if they, they were, were rubber, then yeah. Yeah. But it looks like they make uh, rubber and leather and anyway, Dublin. 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 And we'll be dub more than doubling our money on those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Um, oh. Aww. I Poor Smokey. Smokey howling. Smokey, we're up here. He got confused because we did our tea break and he doesn't know where we are. Smokey, if you haven't been watching our videos in the past, our cat Smokey has separation anxiety pretty bad. Smokey. And he gets confused sometimes and screams about it. <laughs> Anyways, he pretty much has to be around us 24 seven and it's pretty funny. Um, he gets pretty upset when we leave and go on trips for days. Even if we have, you know, people coming over to watch him and stuff, he still gets pretty mad that we leave. But he's okay. We just have to, we've been giving him this tranquility blend. Like they're like, it's like a tincture dropper thing that's got Valerian root and some other stuff in it, and that seems to calm him down pretty well. Oh, here he is. It's dad. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> you're okay. What do you, he's a big scaredy cat is what he is. What do we do with this boy? He keeps us in line. Okay, come back here. Come lay down. That's okay for you. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. So we found a pair of these coach boots. These are like mid-high, like kind of Sherpa lined. Coach boots. We don't usually pick up Coach. Sometimes it can do really well, especially their bags. Their boots, we're not as sure about. And I can't remember what the name of these were. Um, was this something we were gonna try to send a thread up also? Yeah, because, well, that was my original idea, but then I looked into it um, also when we got home. And the data that Ryan was seeing when he looked these up was on Poshmark and I like looked at the date that it sold and it was like at least a year ago. Oh. So that was like one reason why. Oh yeah, a pair of these sold for 120 on Poshmark. However. And there's a couple more $50 sales. Yeah, but that was like a while ago. Um, yeah, so like maybe these are out of style now or something, I don't know. Are you gonna even take a chance with these or are you just gonna send them to thread up? I think I want to send them straight to thread up, <laughs> partly because we have so many boots, so we've got to like process those. Yeah. But the fun thing is that just the estimate for what we could get from thread up, just I just typed in coach and boots. There's you you can do the brand and the category, 
and it should be around 50 to 70 dollars so that's actually even better than if we were going to yeah. try to sell them and probably. that's kind of a trend of what like there's some of these boots that we got that like <laughs> they retailed for so much but they just don't have the resale um element uh -huh. whether it's like a weird style like this or just oversaturated mm -hmm. and so yeah it's really it's really nice to know about different consignment opportunities um, and where to sell your items. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Coach. I, it's a luxury brand. It's a weird one, though. Yeah, sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes it is. Yeah. I would say if you find Coach at the bins and it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Probably pick it up. Probably pick it up, look into it. If you find it anywhere else... It's gonna Look be. It. It's gonna be a big maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if they're asking more than like a few bucks for it, it might not be worth it to pick. Yeah. If you find it at a thrift store or something. And it depends, like every brand, but. Yep. Yeah. Well, we usually don't pick it up at the thrift store because the thrift stores are like. Oh yeah, they're like this coach, is coach seventy-five yeah. dollars. Yeah, it's so funny. Even if it's in wrecked condition. <laughs> yeah, Goodwill's like coach. That's the same as Louis Vuitton. I know. <laughs> it's so funny. It's funny. Here, do you want to do these? Yeah. So this is another pair that I am sending to thread up, and I plan to get like about 30, like 25, 30 passively. I think for most Dan of this we're sending to thread up. Yeah, right? it's crazy. So <laughs> it's kind of the best of both worlds. The or I don't know if that's even the right term, but it's kind of nice when you get things that you're like, I know where to consign this and I'm gonna get more than I would listing and it's a good amount um, because you get to be lazy and I love it, I love that. <laughs> and especially this time around with me sending things in for a cash, just a cash out option, it's gonna take a longer time for things to sell. They're not gonna pay me up front, but I'm, I love experimenting and so we're gonna see how that goes. These are just kind of like a middle of the road um, they're not like a crazy payout, but you know, 25, 30 passively, like I'm about it. Dance go? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. We got somebody like chainsawing a tree outside <laughs> and it's like not even nearby us. It's like further away, but it's echoing through our neighborhood. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. It's a Monday of all Mondays. Like, yeah, but whatever. Anyway, we'll I just was, keep going. Yeah, it's fine. I was going to say that like. I might try to sell these myself if it were the right season, but they are sandals. So mm -hmm. these ones are not boots. We've got some more boots to show you, um, yeah, but we well, found, you, you know, we it. found many shoes. <laughs> these are a pair of Keens. They're Keen flats and I plan to get 35-ish for them. I'll do these. These are, an, wait, you wanted to do these? It's whatever. Oh, these are, can. <laughs> these are another pair of tall boots that I cleaned up and polished and they look really nice and spiffy. Um, these, what are these? These are the brand BOC, which we never pick up BOC, but no. because these are so nice leather. I had a guttural reaction of like, give me that. Like I saw one and then I saw the other one and someone was in the bin. I'm like, can you pass that to me? And I just like, if they were my size, I would really, like, I love them. I would be about it. Um, mm -hmm. They're not my size. So that's kind of a good, that's like a good um, sign to pick something up, especially substantial, like leather and boots. They do well. Um, BOC, I plan to get maybe about 50 for these. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. BOC is one of those brands that's like, maybe pick it up at the bins. Anywhere else, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, although I don't know much about this brand. I think that Mogi Beth picks up, maybe, I think I've also heard BOC is the lower line of Born. Um, and like, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe there's just the regular Born, like B-O-R-N. There's the BOC Born, which is like lower tier. And then there's the Crown Born, which we found one pair of boots that we could probably yeah. sell for 70. Um, that's like higher tier. So that's my really vague understanding of this brand. Mm -hmm. um, I've also, I've heard people pick this up and have good luck with it. So I don't know, maybe we could look into it more, but for boots like this. Yeah, it seemed like a good, yeah. a good risk. We are not the experts on Born, so 
Don't take our word for it. Yeah, these are Ms. Moos. They have an incredible sell-through rate. I've, I've sold Ms. Moos before that was just wrecked and it sold really quickly for like surprisingly good money. Uh, these do have some wear. We didn't notice any on the outside, but on the inside they have like the soles. There's some wear on the soles mm -hmm. that you probably couldn't see. The insoles, I mean. This is what um, to look for if you see Ms. Ms. Moves. Moves. Let's see if we can get that to uh, focus on that at all. I Hide my face. Uh, yeah, so let's see. What did I put for this? <laughs> my like guesstimate is 40 because of the wear. Um, if it didn't have that, I might be able to get more, but hmm. Ms. Moose yeah, sells pretty well. Kind of I actually might be able to get more. I'll do more like in-depth research, but yeah, there's definitely a market for this brand. Nice. Yeah. Nice. These are a pair of nice black cowboy boots by the brand um, Nakona. Or Nakona, um, it's from Nakona, Texas. Um, so these are American made boots. Nice, um, they have good ear bottoms on them. You know, with a pair of leather cowboy boots like this, it's probably a pretty good bet since they're in good condition. There, there was some wear on the toes that I fixed with a leather um, repair kit, which I could actually show maybe. So I got this off of Amazon Coconix. Leather Care Pro, and it's basically, it's just got a bunch of these, like, so you get your applicator, there's like a spade, like a little shovel thing, and then like a brush. And then inside of here, you get all these different types of colors. There's different kits too with different colors, but, um, and you can mix and match colors to get other colors. That, that sounded awful. <laughs> Anyways, you can mix colors if you need um, to get the right color. This, These were just black boots, so I mostly just did the black color. And you just kind of paint it on where the wear mark is at, and it dries, and you kind of buff it out. But it does work pretty good to fill in those cracks and stuff. And I'll show you those ones. We'll show you these next. Um, and that, that one worked a lot better. Or looked a lot better at the final result. Anyways, this was like, I think like 20 bucks on... Amazon and we decided to get it because we repair shoes and clean shoes a lot and I was like well if we can repair them pretty easily at home that might make the decision for us while we're at the stores mm -hmm. as to whether or not we pick something up that we think we can repair easily. Yeah and yeah. I mean what we found and we'll show you that was the main decider is these boots we're about to show you it, they are worth so so much. Yeah. Um, sold to the right place and they had these nicks on the front and these ones did too mm -hmm. and they're both valuable and so we figured you know if we invest in this kit it's going to last us a long time and when we find boots or shoes that are worth a really good amount of money we're willing to put the time and effort into cleaning them up right if they're slightly damaged yeah yeah so um these ones did you have a number for those? I did. I just looked them up and I was seeing like my guess is that we could sell them for a f like around 50 range. Mm -hmm. But I did want to know one listing that sold recently and it was new and it was vintage. These might be vintage, but they are not new. Um, that sold for $259. Wow. So I just want to like share that piece of information. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that for these, but um, mm -hmm. they are valuable. Never heard of this brand before. Oh, it's Nakona, not Nakoma. I don't remember what I said. Anyways, though, it says they're from Nakona, Texas. So if these are American made, that's pretty cool. Usually that makes stuff more valuable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. And then I'll let Tori do these. Oh, I, I know she just loved, the Lord. loves them. So excited. I found <laughs> these in a shoe bin in different bins and I went searching and I found the other one. And they are my size, but I am not going to keep them. <laughs> These are Salvatore Ferragamo leather boots. And they are beautiful. Ryan cleaned this up. They had really bad nicks, like right here where the le like there was kind of a gouge. Mm -hmm. um, but he cleaned them up. And they are so new and beautiful. Not new. They're so... 
They're just so beautiful. They look a lot better. Yes. So Salvatore Ferragamo. Like you can't even um, really see it unless it get real close. You get close, yeah. But you'll have to hide your face. Maybe it'll zoom on it. Hide my face. But yeah. I don't know if I can show. Oh, that's literally what you were just doing. Were you showing the logo? I was showing the oh, okay. where I cleaned. Maybe I'll show the logo if you can see the I Ferragamo. Doubt, I doubt it's going to be able to okay. get and that. And Salvatore Ferragamo. No, you probably can't see that whatever mm -hmm. but if you ever find this um uh, pick it up and look into it these are a great example of how important it is or valuable it is to know where to sell your items i saw a listing on ebay that sold for 40 like not the same exact boot but similar and you know up to like 100 on like ebay and poshmark However, on ThreadUp, our estimated payout for these boots would be anywhere from $193 to $295. Wow. So there you go. Like we are sending these straight to ThreadUp and we have good, good faith in that decision. Yep. Pays to do your research. Yeah. That really surprised me. I thought it would probably be like, oh, you could maybe get 80. And even that would be a good reason to send it in because you're not doing any of the like photography and customer service and shipping when it sells. So that is my favorite find out of our shoes. Mm hmm End of the day. And then this is the last pair of shoes we found. And... Oh my gosh, wouldn't you believe it? We found Burberry again. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like old vintage Burberry. Um, the logo is kind of coming off on the heel pad there, but these aren't in the best condition ever. Yeah, they're not like, usually we'd be so excited to find Burberry, but like these, Yeah. I don't know, like, I don't know how much we'll get for them, but I saw that pattern, I'm like, eh. yeah. They're kind of dirty. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. But it's old school Burberry, so I can't even really show you that because it's so faded, but you can kind of see it. It's like the lamest presentation of Burberry did ever. Did you see that? I did when we got home. Yeah, they're definitely not in good condition. They're definitely, so. yeah, they're definitely well, well worn. Well worn. <laughs> Yeah, and that's old Burberry, so I don't even know how old these are. When yeah. did that logo stop happening? Oh, I don't know. These are probably 20 years old. If it's that old school logo. Or more. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Anyways, do you, do you have any idea what we could get for those? Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't know if it looked that great. Um, Are you sending these into the real real? I might. Yeah, we'll just let the real real figure. I mean, it out. they might not accept it because they're bad condition, but well, we'll yeah. see. Yeah, that one's a that one's an unknown. Yeah. it's a question mark at this point. So that's cool. Um, so that's it for the shoes. So let's move all these out of the way, and we'll bring the bag of clothes over. Okay. Oh, now it's time for the bag of curls. You go first. That. Okay. This is a fun find. It's a new with tags, $200, mind you, um, wedding veil. And it's this champagne color. It's scalloped and... Champagne chambray. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up. This is sold at David's Bridal. That was my guess. Um, that's actually about what I paid for my veil, which is crazy. Ouch. Now that I'm a reseller, I'm like, I could have gotten a much be better deal, but I was in a rush to get everything together. So anyway, I expect that I could probably sell this for 50. Yeah. Okay. It's Margaret O'Leary. Um, yeah. I picked this up because it had a really cool like shell tag and I'm like, oh, that's probably really good quality. And I'm just noting, noticing a snag, but it's not a big deal. Um, I also was excited to find that it is primarily organic cotton. 
80% organic cotton. It's got some nylon, nylon and spandex in there too. And it's this pair of like wide leg lounge pants. So I'd say like maybe 25, 30 for those. Sweet. This is from Lauren Ralph Lauren Active and it's like a fleece slash quilted kind of coat. Um, yeah, Lauren Ralph Lauren is like a mid-range Ralph Lauren um, sub-brand. I don't know how much this would go for. It seems like it's a little... It's not great. It's not that great. No, I probably shouldn't have picked this up. Oh. So, well, I mean, I was going to just... I think I picked it up to send it to thread up anyway. Like, how much not great? We <laughs> so got I it actually looked mids. it up. No, I looked it up, and I'm sure that, like... If we waited long enough, we could maybe get 19. Oh, wow. However, um, I saw a recent sold for $6 on eBay. And then I saw like on ThreadUp, the estimation was like maybe $6, six to seven. I'm like, why did I pick this? Like, yeah. so I'm probably gonna send that to ThreadUp. Um, yeah. I think that my, my general goal for what I pick up for ThreadUp is like around ten dollars so yeah i don't know why I that was that just up. an all-around bad pick we're not gonna i don't think we're gonna lose money if i just send it in and mm -hmm. passively make a couple bucks on it <laughs> I don't know. all right i'm not i'm not proud of that one let's see Ooh, this is really really cool so it's banana republic and it is a wool cashmere blend men's People. coat yeah yeah it's in great condition just needs a lint roll like a lot of this so, uh but yeah my my thought is that we'll probably get around 50 for that uh, banana republic we don't always pick up but in their their coats especially men's coats do really well because they retail for so much it's crazy um, as well as their leather goods, they can do well. Mm -hmm. This is just a Heli Hansen brand fleece. Um, well, it's a full zip sweater. Uh, Heli Hansen. 20-ish maybe? Yeah. It's, some of their stuff's a little more expensive, but um, yeah. Yeah, 20, 25 probably for that. The new with tags, Elon, Elan, E L A N, dress. And it's like this long black dress. You can't, I mean, you can't see it. I wrote down. Ooh, it's really soft. Yeah. So I could probably get 25 to 50 or sell that for 25 to 50. This is an Eileen Fisher skirt um the tag is kind of coming off so i'm gonna have to sew that really quick but this is just a basic black skirt is this a skirt what the heck is this is it actually it's a, a jumper what it's a jump what is that it's a jumpsuit oh it's like a sleeveless jumpsuit what the heck Do well, you, that, this oh no this is, is peter pan pants that is peter pan pants <laughs> oh my gosh it's like baggy like aladdin shorts Whoa. <laughs> well, that's weird, but it does up the value because pants do better than skirts. What are these kind of Aladdin pants called? Like, do you know? Let us know in the comments if you know, like the bushy, like... Slouchy. I, I don't know how to explain this. Pants. Besides Aladdin pants. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll throw a picture up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what's that worth? So I got that to consign, actually, to take to our consignment shop because it's... Like I almost put it back and I was like, ah, I'll get it for that. Cause it's so soft. But now that you know that it's Aladdin pants, is it still consigned? Well, yeah, okay. because like imagine photographing that, right? Like it's right. kind of like, How do you explain weird. that? And the fabric tag is cut off. So like that was right on the verge of like, should I get this, should I not? <laughs> but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another weird item is this Halston Heritage dress situation. This is a good brand to be on the lookout for. It's the first time that I've found it. I don't know if I can show you this tag. It's just a loud day. Um, is that, 
All right. That probably works. Probably good. Okay. Yeah. So that's a good brand. Um, this is like a, it's, oh, it was, it's very confusing. I don't fully know how to describe this. It's like a dress, but then the bottom is like really weird. Oh yeah, it's like a romper, but it's, it like doesn't look like it would it's be a like romper. It's like a poncho romper, like a poncho. <laughs> yeah, a so we gotta figure that out. Anyways, the clothing items that we got. Here's the last one. Do you mind if I just? Yeah, go Okay. Okay. Uh, this is Staring at Stars, which is a Urban Outfitters brand. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. And I got this because it's very lightweight. Now I'm seeing kind of a hole in the tag area. So, you know, clothes game was not great. We went on a Friday, but the, the boot game was crazy. Uh, yeah, but it's just this cardigan. I got it because it's lightweight. And my plan is, I might list it, I might send it to thread up. Let's see, my guess is that I could maybe sell this for 20, um, but I'd be willing to accept 15. Thread up, I could probably get $4 for. What was I thinking with it? What were you thinking? I don't know. You're, oh. And then the last, and this is might be the best item of the haul. As far as cool it's, brands it's go. It's between this and this, the Ferragamo boots. But this is like, this is really great. So this is a leather belt. And it's just chainsaws going nuts <laughs> out there. Happy Halloween. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this open. Aha, uh -huh, so. <laughs> so this is a fancy belt by Versace. Oh, what's up? We found Versace. We have to see it. Ah. So we can check that off the list now that we found that in the wild. And this looks like pretty new, actually. Yeah. It's in really good condition. Yeah. Real Versace belt. That is pretty sweet. Made in Italy. Oh my goodness. How much is this worth? So this is another thing that I am excited about because it's probably going to be worth it for us to send to the real real for them to sell it and us to get a commission because this, I was seeing maybe like 80, 100, like, you know, more or less on um, eBay, Poshmark. But the real real, I was seeing consistently these listing for like two to $300 and we would get 55% of that. So even if it's like, that would, that would be our best bet. Cause that would, we would either get like, more than one hundred dollars, I mean, <laughs> or higher. So, I'm very happy about that. And to check that off of our list, that's great. Yay! Now we found Versace. What's the Dolce and Gabbana? Dolce Prada Burberry. What would we find? The, what was Prada? Oh, we haven't sold anything like that yet. Well, my dad gave me some glasses. That's true. Yeah. Anyways. Yep. The last um, one that we were looking for still is Valentino to sell. Well, we found it. We found it a couple of times, but it wasn't worth reselling yet. Man, I'm thinking Anyways. YSL. Anyway. Oh yeah, we have found YSL. Yeah. Louis Vuitton, technically. A few times. Fendi. The dust bag. Yeah. Well, no, you sold the Louis Vuitton dress. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And then we got two movies. We got The Wizard of Oz and Dances with Wolves on Blu-ray. And this Wizard of Oz is unopened, so that's kind of cool. So, yep, movies for us. Well, that's the end of that haul. Thanks for watching. And yeah, we'll see you next week with another one. Anything else to add? That's it, I think. Perfect. All right, catch you later, bye. Bye. Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. If you learned something or enjoyed what you saw, please take a second to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you want more nifty thrifties in your life, why not subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified when we make new videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.